Dead or Alive. Aero Video has released Takashi Miike's Insane Yakuza Trilogy on Blu-ray, and that is what we are going to be having a look at today. First, we have the limited edition O-Card, or slipcase depending on where you're from, which is only available with the first pressing of the Blu-ray. So if you want to have the slipcase, be sure to get this sooner than later. As you can see, it is a nice high gloss cover. Here's the side and the back. As for the special features, you have high definition digital transfers of all three films, that's Dead or Alive, Dead or Alive Wings, and Dead or Alive Final, original uncompressed stereo audio, original English subtitles, you have new interviews with the actors, producers, and screenwriters, a new audio commentary by Takashi Miike biographer Tom Mace, archival interviews with the cast and crew, archive making of featurettes for Dead or Alive Wings and Dead or Alive Final, and original theatrical trailers for all three films. The run times for the film are 105, 97, and 89 minutes respectively. They are presented in their aspect ratios of 1.85 to 1. The Blu-rays are region A locked and they are all unrated. Here we have the interior artwork, which is exactly the same as the slipcase artwork. On the inside, we have the booklet, and then disc 1, which features Dead or Alive and Dead or Alive 2, and then disc 2, which features Dead or Alive 3. And a quick flip through the booklet here. And since this is an error release, they also include the reversible theatrical artwork. And there you have it right there. And there you have it, my unboxing of Arrow Video's release of Takashi Miike's Dead or Alive trilogy. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a thumbs up below, comment down below, let me know which is your favorite in the trilogy, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future.